Hi, old folks, this is Max from High on Android.com, where we get high on Android every day. Um, anyway, today I wanted to talk to you about um, the new uh, Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 MSM 8960 CPU, dual core CPU for uh, smartphones and probably tablets too. Um, the, the phones that's coming with this chip CPU is the HTC uh, One Series. I think the One X comes with it. Um, but um, this, based on uh, testing with a um, uh, Qualcomm uh, device, um, it's supposed to be pretty darn fast. Probably up to par with uh, Tegra 3. Um, faster in some some categories, uh, some benchmark categories, and maybe a little bit slower on uh, some of the other categories. But it should be on par. Um, so that's the new chip um, I'm really looking forward to. And that's why I want to get the uh, 1X, ACC 1X. Um, another chip you should look out for is uh, there's no Tegra 3 uh, phone yet. We have the uh, Asus Transfer, um, Transformer Prime. Not a smartphone yet. So those will be good too uh, for Qualcomm. As for TI OMAP, um, TI OMAP 4460, that's the one on Galaxy Nexus. I think it's already kind of outdated as far as like you know the fastest CPUs in the world for smartphones and uh, tablet devices. Um, so probably the next TI OMAP will be pretty pretty darn fast. And uh, also Samsung uh, Zynos is that how you say? It? I don't know how to say it, but I just call it Zynos. Um, those processors on the S2 and the Galaxy Note um, are really fast already. Um, so I, I think the next version is going to beat probably uh, everybody, including Qualcomm, um, TI, OMAP, and uh, that's, you know, for all the Samsung phones, no one else is going to use it. Um, so just an update um, on the CPUs, and uh, I think the one on the, uh, the Qualcomm S4, um, the MSM8960, will be a, only a dual core, but still will be fast, it's 1.5 gigahertz. Um, so if you see that chip on a new smartphone, I would definitely think about getting one um, until it's outdated. But it, it should, you know, it should be very on par with uh, all the other ones. Tegra 3, um, actually Tegra 3. I think the two best chips right now for smartphones is the Tegra 3 quad core 1.2 gigahertz and also the um, Snapdragon S4 dual core. S4 uh, MSM 8960. So look uh, look for those two things. Um, you know, if you're looking for a smartphone in the future, and uh, you know the difference is the Snapdragon is only dual core, but it has a 30% higher clock rate at 1.5 gigahertz dual core, um, which is supposed to be faster than uh, Samsung Zynos, maybe 1.1.2 gigahertz, maybe on par with 1.4 gigahertz. Um, Whereas the Tegra 3 comes with uh, quad core, that's four cores at 1.2 gigahertz. Even though it's running at 30% lower clock rate, um, since you have four cores, you should be able to um, do a lot more, you know, because it's four cores, you can do multitasking and all, all kinds of stuff. So they're, they're really the same chips, but with different capabilities. But, you know, both chips are really fast. Um, I have my Asus Transform Prime. You know, it is super fast. So look out for those two chips. Um, I just wanted to update you in case you didn't know what all these things meant. Um, and uh, if you have any questions about chips, uh, leave questions and I'll research it for you. Um, I'll be your middleman. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You can hit that like button. Um, should be right there if you're on YouTube and also subscribe button right there. Um, and uh, I'll have more cool videos. I just got back. Um, I got stuck in the snow. So you can see I almost died. See? I turned black. I'm black man. I've turned into black man from Asian. So, see y'all later. Alright.